Hi VC, how are we all doing? George back with another video. Yeah, today we're having a wee look at, wee quick look at um, Kirsten Edkins' latest LP. This is her second LP, her first LP is available only in CD. And of course it's Kevin Gray's first album on his new record label, Coherent Records. Um, so, Cahain Records, Kevin Gray's home studio, um, his only studio, all these other places, a master and suite, he does Blue Note and whatever, this is just for his, really, his own records. Um, he's created an all valve system in his house, in his living room. I don't know where his wife's went to, but uh, anyway, he set up his living room because it was more or less the same size too, Rudy Van Gelder's studio in and, um, and, um, Hackensack. So he's called it funnily Hackensack West, just as a little joke. But everything's done out, he's got the same piano, organ, and the same setup that Rudy would have had, and everything's mic'd up, and it's all valve equipment, it's been refurbished and um, rebuilt over many years to get to this stage. So Kirsten is his first album he's putting out. And this is it here. Kirsten Edkins, Shapes and Sound. Now this was recorded 14 months ago, uh, December 2021 in two sessions. And by the way, it was produced by Dave Connor. The sound between uh, Kevin and, and Dave it's just got fantastic sound in LP. Kirsten Edkins on saxophone, Gerard Clayton on piano, courtesy of um, Blue Note Records. I met Turkman Old Glue on bass, Chris Wobak, Wobak on drums, and Lamar. Goulary on trombone. Um, so there's eight tracks on this. Six are pen penned by uh, Kirsten, um, one by Dave Wayback, the drummer, and one is a standard. And it's done like a tone poet, session photographs. All the guys are wearing jackets here in December, must be freezing. Kevin, put your heating on. Now there's no, there's no hype sticker with us, but um, it's done on 180 grams vinyl, I believe. That's a coherent label. And uh, that's the studio here with all the equipment. Just a fast, fantastic thing to do for a for a engineer to do. I mean, I mean, obviously Rudy done it, but he never put out his own label either. So I think Kevin's something to have maybe two a year. We may see one in six months' time. Who knows? In the background there is uh, War. It's greatest hits. That was the only other album that Kevin done on this home studio. Sounds fantastic. Also, um, so we played the first track in there, Party Slug, and that's that sets the album off really nicely. It's quite up tempo, fast flowing. It's really the pop song in the album, I would say almost. And the, the LP finishes side two hula hoop and that's Dave Wubeck's the drummer's song and it, it ends in a sort of similar vein. And the rest of the tracks go through hard bop, bebop, uh, and easy listening jazz. It's not a hard album to listen to and she tackles a few styles but in the same vein and it all blends really well, coherently. So, I ordered this um, 
we had a dealer in Scotland, so I didn't order this, I put a, an order in and um, he accepted my money. I was watching an interview by Kevin and basically we've seen he's only got three distributors in the US. Uh, one being Acoustic Sounds, which were sold out and uh, I got this from Music Direct. I stuck another couple of LPs on the order just to, to share the postage really. Uh, so he's trying to get distributors for Europe and the UK but I don't know if it will be on the second batch. So this first batch is 1,258 LPs. Luckily I managed to get one. The second batch will be in three or four weeks time the same amount of records, 1,250. And I believe there might be a third issue at some point. Don't know when. So fantastic sounding album, <laughs> it's, it sounds great, as it should sound great. Easy listening, yeah, yeah, it's not a difficult jazz album, um, it's not the best jazz album in the world, but if you're an audiophile and uh, you like good sounding music, uh, it's a great one to get, for sure. Uh, maybe it should have had to be wee numbers on them, I think, make, make it a wee bit more collectible. Uh, but it depends how many presses to how collectible it gets. Um, so, there you go, Kirsten Edkins Shape and Sound. 14 months in the, the, the making and uh, I'm glad she's out, I'm glad she bets it's out now really, you know. Um, she can really promote the album, um, so I'm glad to get it. Um, Kirsten Atkins, Shapes and Sound. Buy it if you can. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 